I'm going to show you how to inject a chicken. This is a chicken that we're going to be smoking today. And the first step that I did was I stuffed it. So uh, I stuffed the cavity of this chicken full of apples, lemons, onions, garlic, salt, pepper, olive. That's kind of my standard stuffing, you know, for, for birds. So we put that all together in a bowl, mix it all together, stuffed it inside, close that flap up, and we are ready for the injection. I'm right-handed, so I'm going to turn this around. And this is a basic injection needle. I like it. Got it. Uh, my wife actually got it for me from Bed Bath & Beyond. But I'll tell you, I've had it for three or four years. It works like a charm. So you pull the injection out. So for this injection today, I used apple juice, Sprite, um, a little bit of hot sauce, a little Worcestershire. So very basic, but it's just a nice, easy uh, uh, flavor. I didn't want to have anything too strong uh, flavor for this bird. It's just a nice, easy injection flavor. So turn this around and show you. What you want to look for is you want to be able to, you don't want to pierce the skin. Number one, most important, don't pierce the skin. So to inject in the breast, you can see usually there's a little bit showing. You want to get it into that meat and feel you don't want to pierce the skin, but you also don't want to get into the cavity. You really want to inject it right into the meat. Remember, just like that. Remember that chicken is absolutely completely tasteless if you don't do something to it. And the absolute most tasteless part of the chicken is the breast. So I usually just absolutely hammer it with injection as much as possible. And you can see, I don't know if you can see that in the video, you can watch the swelling of it. I'll do that side again for you just so you can see how the meat just really, really takes it in. And again, I try to hit the same hole so I'm not making too many holes in the meat because every hole you make is where the juice can come out. Watch that fill up. And I pull the needle out slowly as I'm going, and so you're hitting all along the breast. Okay, so once you do that to both sides, I'll save you the boredom of doing it over and over again. This is one of my little tricks too. Not many people take the time to do this. So the leg, the leg needs a little loving too. So you have to get that needle, and that's why it's good to have a nice small injection needle, under the skin of the leg, all the way into the thigh. And look at that swell up. Isn't that cool? So there you go. That is how to get it into the leg. So you can see the difference here. This leg, you know, versus the other leg is just is real skinny still. So Injecting the chicken, just be careful. Again, number one most important thing, do not pierce the skin. The, the secret to a good smoked chicken is having the skin on and not having any holes in it for those juices to get out. The smoke, the science of it is that smoke's gonna take that skin and suck it onto the meat. So everything that you put into that meat is stuck in there, it can't get out. So every hole you make is a place that the flavor can escape. So be careful not to pierce the skin um, and just I, I inject mine until the injection literally pours out. So it usually ends up being about one cup, one to two cups per bird of injection. So that's a general rule and that's how you inject a chicken.